Hi there, it's Jason here from ist.mods. Today I'm going to talk about Thermotake's Flow RC360 CPU and memory all-in-one liquid cooler. You do have to buy Thermotake's compatible RAM, which is the Tough RAM RC. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so we get one, two, three. 120 millimeter RGB fans. On the fans comes a four pin cable connector. We have an RGB cable connector. It gets a thermal paste. We have the RGB controller cable. We have two cables synchronized to your motherboard. Cable left was Gigabyte. Cable lead was MSI, Asus, Azeroc, and Biostar. We have a three way fan splitter. We have an Intel bracket. We have an AMD bracket. We have some LG8 2011 standoffs. We have the Intel and AMD fittings here. You have your rear motherboard plate for Intel and AMD. Have a non-conductive pad. We also get the thermal pad and the fittings for the tough RAM. The Flow RC360 comes with some quality braided hoses. The total radiator length is 395 millimeters, which mounts one to 320 millimeter fans. We get two RGB cables. We also get a three pin fan header for the pump. The CPU block and the two from RC block have this lovely copper finished base plate. Okay, so now I'm gonna start and prepare the EIO to fit into my PC. Now, the CPU block comes fitted with the Intel bracket as standard. If you're running an AMD motherboard, simply remove the Intel bracket Line up the AMD bracket, push it in, slide it till it clicks, and that's the AMD bracket installed. I'm going to be using Intel, so I'll do a quick switch back to my Intel one, like so. I'm now going to fix the three fans to the radiator. So you'll take your fan, you place it in the position on the radiator, put the cables in the direction you want for cable management for your PC case. We are going to fit the fans with these long screws that come provided. Simply, there's a screw in the hole and line it up. Now just tighten it up, but not too tight. Simply line up the other screw hole. And repeat this process until all three fans are fitted. That's now the fans fitted to the radiator. Okay, now we're going to prepare the back plate. This side is for AMD. I'm using Intel, so flip this side over. I take the non-conductive pad, place it across evenly, press down firmly. This pad stops any metal to metal contact from the back plate to the motherboard. Now we just get a standoff, place it in the correct slot. And then place on a washer to hold it in place. And just repeat the process. And then again, secure it with your washer. That's the back plate now assembled. I'm now going to fix the back plate to the motherboard. So I'm going to have to line the holes up with the bolts. Like so, take one of these plastic spacers, push it down, let's get the back plate on. Okay, as you can see, that's the back plate now installed. I'm now I'm going to install the radio, so I've removed the back panel from this Core P5 version 2 Black Edition. Get a hold of the EIO. Now, normally, you would mount the radiator like this inside your case. 
which give you the best performance, yeah? But for demonstration purposes, I do have to mount it on this case here. To secure the radiator to the case, keep a hold of the radiator, use a small screw to provide it. Fasten like so. Repeat the process until all the screws are fitted. Now we're going to fit the tough RAM RC. You check on your motherboard guide, it will tell you which RAM slot needs to go in. Just put it into the slot and push down gently until you hear the click. Okay, before we can fix the, the tough RAM RC block, we need to remove this stand to reveal the copper base plate. We do have to apply this thermal pad. I must then show you take off this clear film on the bottom first, like so. Line the thermal pad up on the copper block. Press it down and peel off the blue cover. And match the thermal pad ready for the block to install. Now to apply some thermal paste. Fit the CPU block, always ensure you remove this the sticker. Get the block. Line up on the screws. Like so. Got the block on. On the screws. Once the screws are on, tighten up in a figure eight. Keep continuing this and just do it finger tight. So that's a CPU block now installed. Right now, let's get the tough from RC block installed. So, line the holes up. Drop in your screw. Do the same for all the screw holes. Remove any excess of the pad. RC block fitted. Okay, so I'm going to do a demonstration of how to set up the fan cables and the RGB cables. I've laid out nice on this white desk to make it easy for demonstration purposes. So, first of all, to connect the fans, we have a three way fan splitter cable. Simply just connect your fans in so fan one, fan two, and then your third fan in there leaves you a four pin fan connector which you connect to your CPU header on your motherboard. You also have a three pin fan header on your CPU block which you need to plug into either your CPU optional, CPU 2 fan header or turn and use a chassis fan, your system fan or even your pump header for that one. Moving on to the RGB. Okay, we'll start off on the CPU block RGB cable taking the male end 
connecting it to the female end of the tough ram RGB cable. So just like that. Continue the process like a daisy chain. Take the male end from the tough ram, connect it into fan one, and the same again for fan two, and the same again for fan three. As you can see, they're all now linked up. We'll then take the RGB controller cable, take the female end, and plug it into the male end of fan three. Then you take the SATA cable end and plug it into some power. Once plugged the power, you see the RGB has come on. On the thermal take remote control here, you have a mode, color, and speed. As you can see, the RGB is on there. If I press the speed, you can see it'll either slow it down or speed it up for self preference. If I select the mode, you change the different colors. Color mode, in case you want a static color, you can move through the options. And the mode will take you through different options of fading in. And you can select whichever mode, it's again a self preference. And it's as simple as that. Thank you for watching my video of the unboxing and installation guide of Thermaltake's Flow RC 360 memory and CPU all-in-one cooler. I normally do custom water cooling loops. I found it very, very easy to fit. If you're just starting out, it's a great bit of kit to get a hold of and use. It has a premium quality feel about it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.